Many people are familiar with President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's impact on the United States. However, few people know about the impact that the state of Georgia had on him and his presidency. FDR first visited Georgia in 1913 while on business with the U.S. Navy. As his political career gained momentum, FDR suffered a tragic setback. In 1921, while on vacation with his family in Canada, he contracted a disease called polio. From 1921 to 1924, FDR struggled with his health and tried to learn how to function day to day with the disease. Learning to walk with his braces was extremely difficult and painful. Though his prognosis from doctors was grim, he did not believe that his life and political career were over. He refused to accept the fact that he would not get better. In 1924, at the Democratic Convention, FDR met a Wall Street banker named George Foster Peabody. Peabody was from Columbus, Georgia and was the owner of the Merriweather Inn in a nearby town called Warm Springs. He told Roosevelt about the warm mineral springs located there. Peabody said that the springs were known to have healing qualities. After learning about the springs, FDR was eager to test their healing powers. So, in October of 1924, he traveled to Warm Springs, Georgia, and after only a three-week visit, he claimed that he had made more progress than he had in the previous three years. In the fall of 1924, Roosevelt made plans to buy the Merriweather Inn and the surrounding property. The deal was finalized in April of 1926. Immediately, he organized a rehabilitation center for individuals with polio called the Warm Springs Foundation. It is known today as the Roosevelt Warm Springs Rehabilitation Center. From 1926 to 1928, FDR spent over half of his time in Warm Springs. He decided to have a cottage built there that would one day be called the Little White House. During this time, he engineered a car that had hand controls. This helped him regain his independence. FDR drove all around Merriweather County, making friends and getting to know people. He saw the extreme poverty that the people lived in. The farmers of the county grew corn and cotton, but were plagued with issues like drought, falling crop prices, and the boll weevil. The people had no electricity or running water. When FDR was elected president in 1932, he did not forget the people of Merriweather County and their struggles. He kept them in mind while writing his New Deal policies, modeling the policies after the needs he had seen while in Georgia. From Roosevelt's first visit to his death in 1945, Georgia provided help for his physical condition, a retreat from the pressures of Washington, and inspiration for programs to bring the country out of the Great Depression and put it back to work. There is no doubt that the state of Georgia had a great impact on FDR and his presidency.